Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Blix Action here coming to you guys with a brand new video. And in today's video, we will be wrapping up all the details about the rubble with the wide pack and discussing new details about the bad news you pack. So if you haven't already, man, make sure you boys go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well, and let's get straight into the video. DLC number four, which is the Revel with the Wild Pack, is set to be released in four more days and will be available on July 19th. And it will include playable characters such as Blur Davenport, Bray Wyatt, Joe Gacy, Valhalla, and Zeus. Now, over the past couple of days, we've been getting a lot of these DLC superstar entrance reveals. Now, if you want to check out these superstars' full entrances, make sure you go check out WD2K's Twitter page because they did reveal all of these superstars' full entrances. But I do want to talk about all of these DLC superstars overall. So, as you guys can see on the screen right here, we have Blur. Davenport overall coming in at a 74. While Valhalla is coming in at a 70. Uncle Howdy is coming in at a 84. Joe Gacy is coming in at a 76. Zeus is coming in at a 87. And Bray Wyatt is coming in at a 89. And let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with these overalls? Do the overalls matter in the game? And should Uncle Howdy be an 84? And does Bray Wyatt deserve to be an 89? But speaking of Bray Wyatt, we do have some new information on his Fiend character. So what's the status over there on Twitter? Did say the Fiend character will most likely be my faction exclusive if it has the current data that's in the game it will most likely have content damage even if it didn't the mask itself isn't in creation suites we are going to have to recreate it regardless hoping for the theme and the trunks to get added because i can upload those so based on reading that it looks like the fiend possibly could be in the game but only as a my faction lock and if he is in the game he will have content damage just like this self rollins and this miz did from the last patch update now y'all let me know in the comment section down below do you believe that they should add the fiend as a playable character in the next patch update but let's switch gears to this next dlc pack which is the final last dlc pack of wb2k23 which is dlc number five which is the bad news you pack and it will be released on august 16 2023 when most of y'all are in school y'all will be getting this pack which is a shame but anyways it will include playable superstars such as andrew chase damon kemp eve torres nathan frazier and wade barry so as you guys can see on the screen right here joe mashup over there on twitter did reveal this to us last night now from looking at this it looks like wade barry will not have his facial hair in the game and, and i probably knew that from the jump anyways due to the fact that the entrance already looks like the wade barry from 2012 and eve torres right here looks like she will be a heel in the game because if you look at this wade barry wwe 13 entrance as well as this eve towards wwe 13 tunt it looks like this will be their version in the game now last but not least as you guys can see on the screen right here it looks like the chase you newspapers were found in the wwe 2k23 file now that is not all because andrew chase voice tons were also found in the game files as well now let's take a listen to it another big move Now that is all for today's video man if you like this video make sure you go ahead and hit that like button also subscribe to the channel as well because i will keep you posted with a lot of wb 2k23 content as well as aew fight forever it's been one action and i'm signing off y'all peace